morning everybody sorry i got sleepy eyes it's crack it on well guys it's the last time you're gonna see this until maybe someday i buy it back got a good deal going i used to have this little boat we saved it out of the back of an old lake house when i found it the tires were rotted off the trailer it was in bad shape all the decking was rotted out so made a deal get the boat I drug it I went and got tires and wheels for it brought them back put them on it and drug it home and I lived in New Mexico at the time and uh, put it out in my backyard and I stripped all of the inside of it out and cleaned it out and I was planning on rebuilding it and then a buddy of mine that does sign work he owns a sign company he did a bunch of work for me for one of my businesses and so I ended up trading him that boat for some of the money I owed him for the signs well, him and his dad took it to their shop and they completely rebuilt the boat. And uh, they've had it for about 10 or 12 years now. And uh, they don't use it. It just sits in the shop with a tarp on it. So I called him. I said, hey, what'd you do with that old boat? He said, well, it's in the shop covered up. We never use it. I said, you want to get rid of it? He said, yeah, maybe. I said, you want to sell it or you want to trade it? He said, what would you trade me? Well, I got a native Slayer Propel 13. I'll trade you for it. And it's probably worth more than the boat. And he's like, okay, I want one of those anyway. So, sure. Well, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to drive to Breckenridge, Texas and meet my dad halfway there. My dad picked the boat up for me. And uh, we're going to switch out. So let's get on the road, get some Starbucks. <laughs> Y'all know how I am about my coffee. And uh, get down there and get that boat. Let's go see what she looks like. I'll see y'all on the road. Thank you. Yeah, they are pulling up with my little boat. Look at that little boat. Woo. It's a little guy, but it'll get the job done. It'll get the job done. Awesome. Let's get this kayak unloaded, get switched out, and get out of here. Well, guys, we got it to the house. And we're going to have a nice deck up here for live scope fishing going to work controlling motor but it's not what I want obviously I've got my iPilot uh, Minn Kota in the garage so I can have GPS spot lock I'll have to build me a new mount for the Garmin to set up a little higher my hand will go over here I'm probably gonna run me another seat mount closer to the front of the boat so I can be a little closer to all the electronics my handle for the transducer and live, sc live scope but other than that, it's a pretty clean little boat. For what it is, it's definitely a survivor. So I've got to go and get some more seat mounts for here, replace these two that are missing. But that's live well under there. I'm under both seats. That's a big live well. I got me a nice little center console there to drive with. I need to clean up the steering wheel and the throttle. And then rear seat. My battery compartment, gas tank, all that needs cleaned up. Needs new batteries. I'll probably go with three battery charger and three batteries back there. It's got a little Evinrude 30 horse on it. They say it runs good, but it does need a new prop. It's pretty beat up. But other than that, I think we're all good. New lights, new tires, new wheels. And he put all these new decals on here. He owns a sign shop, so... He did all the, all the decking is done in aluminum and they recarpeted the whole thing and then he re-stickered it all. It was all painted. This is carbon fiber vinyl here and uh, all this was painted but they've had it redone for a few years so they've kind of wore on it and you know, you know how it goes. Sitting outside some, letting the chalk tarp beat on it, and letting the sun do its damage. Looks like the center console is pretty good. Underneath there doesn't look pretty good. So I'm probably going to go with a blade fuse block and rewire all that. 
So it may be a little bit before I can get this guy on the water, but as I work on it, which is going to be pretty quick, I'll bring it to you and let you know how far along I get. Well, there it is, guys. That's going to get us on the water with live scope, fishing brush piles and structure, also fishing the river channel for catfish, and uh, who knows what else, guys. Chasing maybe striper, chasing hybrids and whites down deep on humps. It's a clean boat. It just needs some love. It needs to be taken care of, cleaned back up, and it's got um, these. It's got LED strips on the inside, both outside and on the inside, all the way down both sides. So it's real lit up. These are green lights. They shine into the water for uh, you know, night fishing for crappie and white bass. So. It's all set up. We'll get her cleaned up, work on it, and see how it goes. As I work on this thing, I'll post new videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.